Hey guys, welcome to our channel, please click the subscribe button, and click the bell icon and never miss another update from Ultimate Java. In this video, we will see about Google Juice. What is Google Juice? Google Juice is an open source software framework for the Java platform released by Google under the Apache license. It provides support for dependency injection using annotations to configure Java objects. Dependency injection is a design pattern whose core principle is to separate behavior from dependency resolution. Juice allows implementation classes to be bound programmatically to an interface then injected into constructors methods or fields using an at inject annotation. When more than one implementation of the same interface is needed, the user can create custom annotations that identify an implementation, then use that annotation when injecting it. What is module? A module contributes configuration information, typically interface bindings, which will be used to create an injector. A juice-based application is ultimately composed of little more than a set of modules and some bootstrapping code. Your module classes can use a more streamlined syntax by extending abstract module rather than implementing this interface directly. In addition to the bindings configured via configure, bindings will be created for all methods annotated with that provides. Use scope and binding annotations on these methods to configure the bindings. Contains only one method dash. Configure, contributes bindings and other configurations for this module to the binder. Syntax, void configure binder binder. What is binder? Collects configuration information primarily bindings, which will be used to create an injector. Juice provides this object to your application's module implementers so they may each contribute their own bindings and other registrations. Juice uses an embedded domain-specific language, or EDSL, to help you create bindings simply and readable. This approach is great for overall usability, but it does come with a small cost. It is difficult to learn how to use the binding EDSL by reading method-level Java docs. Advantages of Google Juice Configuration by code No XML is required like Spring. Juice allows the dependency injection configuration to be specified directly in Java code. Juice can make your code more modular, easier to write, and less error-prone to maintain. Juice objects are recognized based on their classes, this means that you cannot have two objects of the same type without using extra metadata. Let's implement, let's create a new Java project. And to make it simple project name Google Juice. Convert this project to Maven project. Search for Google Juice Maven dependency. Copy and paste it in Palm XML file. We will see some examples of Google Juice. So create a new package and it ends with type 1. Create a class called Calculator. Create four methods like Addition, Subtraction, Multiply and Division. Create a new class called Calculator Module. And it extends the Abstract Module class. Now override Abstract Method. Add our own logics. So bind Calculator class. Create a new class called Calculator Client. Add the main method to test. 
create an injector reference and using juice create an injector method pass calculator module object. Now using get instance method of the injector to create an object of calculator class. Now call which for calculation related method we created. See it's working. I hope you understand this example. Let's copy this package and to make difference so it should end with type 2. So instead of implement directly create an interface then implement in a class. So create an interface for the calculator and declare all four methods. So instead of using directly add implement for the calculator and put override for all the methods. Now inside module need to change bind code also though add some modifications or tell the code which class implements that interface, that's it. Let's run and see it's working or not. See it's working. Let's check how many objects are creating for calculator in bull class. Copy the line which creates an object and pastes it at the ends. See now two objects are creating. Let's see how to restrict to create only one. Need to add some changes in calculator module class. Add in singleton dot class also. See now only one object is creating. I hope you can observe that how easy it is if you compare with Spring if you want to do the same. So instead of singleton.class you can use the scope as well like scopes.singleton. See now also working. So instead of two, you can use the instance that is by default singleton. Uncomment the first one and run again. See now two objects are creating, so there is an annotation called singleton so using that also you can achieve the same. See it's working. Copy package and create a new package and it should end with type 3. Create a new class called calculator service. Add a method to make it generalize all four. and change code accordingly.
Let's run and see it's working or not. See it's not working. Forgot to add inject annotation for the calculator. Add that and run again. See it's working. Please like and share this video. Subscribe our channel. Thanks for watching.